Dan's not ready yet. I'll just show you what he's tried to look up. This town, it's got so much here. It's one of those towns where it's like crossroad all the time and you don't know whether to go left, right, right, straight, back. It's one of those towns, isn't it? It's so good. Sorry, I wasn't listening to a word you were saying, Mazzy. We're busy. William Wallace has connections with this place. Yeah? Apparently it was full of English and they yeah. were in some barns. Ah, Willie came along and set fire to the barns and killing all the English people inside. Don't know why. That's what it says. So they reckon this statue was here on a building before this building, Mazzy. Oh, really? Um, have you noticed his legs look a bit small? Uh, I did it, but no. yeah, now you say it, I suppose. His legs look a bit small and they reckon they've actually shortened his legs just so he'll fit in this alcove in this new building. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Wonderful. And we've noticed, just looking up at all the buildings, you know, you see some wonderful architecture and little signs yeah. and crests Even and all Even up there, like, you see, like, just a random face stuck on the wall. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you see it? It's strange stuff. And up there, what does that say? 1686 AD? Yeah. Must be the age of that building. Medieval Street, Mavic? Yeah. It's actually called Hope Street. I thought that was quite nice. It's called Hope Street. All the locals know this is back of the aisle. Oh. Because there was like an island of new buildings built around. This is where the market used to be. Yeah. But they built all these buildings. It was like an aisle of buildings. But they left this street as it is. It's old medieval thing. Something like that. I've just made that up. I'll be honest. <laughs> read it yourself there. It's very hard to read something in 10 seconds, translate it into Dan, and then translate it into Dan to YouTube in front of a Mazzy. <laughs> You don't like it then? Well, I've never had a latte before, but the picture looked really nice and it doesn't look anything like the picture. It's very milky, isn't it? I said it'd be milky. Yeah. What about the flavour? Oh, I love the flavour. I wish they did it on um, hot chocolate, but no. I've got something which looks terrible. Really? You're not happy? Oh, it's a Scotch pie. Yeah. I it is great. Scotch pie. She says Scotch pie. So maybe oh, I did you? I don't know. Oh, okay. It's called a Scotch bag. Just stay to that. So I did say to myself, I'm going to get one, but I'm going to wait until I find the best one from the best butchers. Well, you're not going to get one from a Greg shop, are you? But I did, Mazzy, I did. So Break it in half. Let's have a look inside. It doesn't look terrible. Well? It's horrible. Really? You need to get a proper one from a butcher shop. It tastes like them Scotch pies I've had in the past. Yeah. yeah, not keen. This is a bad example of one. This is exactly what I'm getting at. Clinton's cards, pawnbrokers, little alleyway in between. <laughs> Get yourself up here. Kirkport, uh, leads to Light Lishgate of Ayr's old church. The yeah. church was built in 1655, I think it said. You would never have known that was up here, would you? Well, you would if you have the app. <laughs> yeah, or the... yeah. OK. Something up there says 1656 on it. The old Kirk. This is what you just showed me a picture of, isn't ah, it? Ah, yes. This is on the app, and I wanted to know what it is. It's called the... What is it? The Mort Saft? Mort Safe or something? Something over there is... Oh, Mazzy. Yeah, what's it? It looks like it's one of them things to stop grave robbers. I yeah. just read something like that on the side. That's my guess, because yeah. it's yeah. the shape of a coffin. Ooh, let's look into this. I was right, Mazzy. What is it? Mort safes. What, they both are? Well, yeah. They both oh, are. I suppose that's the lid and that's the frame, is it? Possibly. Possibly, but it's to no. stop grave robbers. Body snatchers. Body snatchers from the 18th, 19th century, you see. Um, it used to be very... Ex basically all the medical people wanted bodies so robbers would come and try and s steal them. It went on for a long time. So they invented these in about 1816 and this one is 1816, it says on it. Wow, that's quite creepy really, isn't it? it is. <laughs> and it leads into a churchyard here which looks yeah. very ancient. Some, oh, wow. Oh, gosh, Check yeah, this out over here. Yeah. Oh, nice we have to look at that. As soon as you walk through, you just Both notice this. It, didn't I've never seen such a standing out grave in my life. 
Okay, I'm struggling. Can you make anything out, Massa? We've yeah. got an angel. It looks like... Cherub. Maybe kids or family there, look. That like a like, mummy and that a... That looks like an animal to me, there. That's a cherub. That's a cherub. I don't know, but it's beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. Yeah. There's another one here. Not quite as nice. Yeah, these are interesting. And there's me thinking air had nothing to offer in the way of history. It's one of the most historic places I've ever been. Yeah, let's be fair, you've never stopped, have you? So you I haven't stopped. It. <laughs> it's just a shame we're not here for like four days. There's plenty to do and see. Yeah. Well, we could stay another day, couldn't we? No. We're oh. booked into a campsite tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Can we see this one here? Another for you here. Looks very similar, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm guessing that if, if that one was a lot clearer, yeah. it would be very similar to what these are. Yeah, this one looks more modern, as if that's been... I don't know, What though. it should look like. Do you think? So the cherubs are actually on curtains of some kind, maybe the curtains to heaven. Here's one of the old ones, which makes it look a bit like they're on tree stumps. Very nice. Right, there's another beautiful one yeah, around the corner. Yeah. There's a monument. Con my hope is constant. My hope is constant oh. in something. It's unusual, isn't it? It's all right, Mazzy, but it's nothing compared to this one over here. I just thought I didn't know. There's so many lovely ones, I've never seen them. Oh, wow. It's a dog, is it? This is the Reverend William Adair, Air's minister. Oh, my God, it's a dog. He was the Minister of Air from 1639 to 1682, and he's responsible for saying a lot of the people were witches. Oh, so he's not the nice guy then, really, is wow. he? Well, he's not, because let's be real, they weren't really witches. He just didn't like women. What do you mean they weren't really witches? He just didn't like women, did he? Are you trying to say that Air's legal people got it wrong? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he would probably just go up to, like, the the policemen of the time and say, oh, that woman's a witch, probably because he didn't like her. There's lots of detail on that. When you start looking, you can actually see, like, odd little bits. It's quite fascinating. You've actually got a dragon there. Yeah. Dragon with, skull. with the skull hanging from its mouth. Yeah, very nice. OK, we're done with the church. Would have been nice to go in because apparently there's a pew in there which... Uh, uh, Burns' his granddad used to sit on. That's what they reckon, and they reckon Burns himself will have gone there once a week to go to service. Right, I've got a really interesting fact for you. Is it something to do with that dude I just saw? William Wallace? Yeah. Right, you remember I told you a story about he came and he killed like 500 English people? Yeah. They're in a barn and they burnt it down. Yeah. That's where the barn was, right? Right. Now that is William, that is Wallace, <laughs> Wallace's tower, yeah. but it's nothing to do with him. It's to do with the Wallace family, a completely different thing. But it looks like his statue again. Yeah, they've probably put him on top since, and because it's, you know, the Wallace oh, right. Tower. The Wallace Tower. But it isn't William Wallace's tower, it's to do with the Wallace family, which is nothing to do with him. But that is the exact spot where he burnt 500 people, William Wallace, who isn't oh. the Wallace family. You know what I mean, don't you? I just find that quite ironic that they built that in exactly the same place as William Wallace. Yeah, it's but... got a plaque on the wall. Let's go see the plaque. So there is a plaque, Mazzy. Yeah. And it does say it commemorates Sir William Wallace. It doesn't Oh, They've got the plaque wrong. Really? Either, either the plaque's wrong or the app's wrong. Because the app said this tower is to do with the Wallace family and not William Wallace himself. It's making me look stupid in my video. <laughs> you ain't stupid. South Ayrshire Council, sort yourself out. Either get your signs right or get your app right. <laughs> I've just been reminded this isn't a history tour, it's a tour it's of air. It's because you didn't want to go up here, you wanted to go straight there, straight there, and I'm, I'm saying let's enjoy the day, relax. Okay, okay, let's just take in air as well. Mountain Warehouse, Vision Express, O2, WS Smith, brilliant. I can brilliant. Hear the sarcasm from over here. This is good, isn't it? Uh, probably most well-known 
famous pubs in Ayr. Really? Tam O'Shanter Inn. From 1749, so it's reasonably old. We've seen a lot older than that one, has it? Yeah, but it's nice. It's nice. nice. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Mazzy's just spotted another plaque in this little yeah, so alleyway down that's here. That's why we have to just go my way. Let's have a look. Oh, it smells. Never mind. Klimi's Close. Since the 1880s when Andrew Klimi opened a fleshing oh, a butcher's yeah. shop. It's impossible they called it. Up here, but before we get to the musician, look another Ooh. signage, signage. <laughs> the middle clause, probably because it's positioned within the building, because this is the middle of the building. Um, some publishers, a builder, carving stones, joiner. Oh, it's boring stuff. At least they're trying, you know. Most places won't put a sign up. At least they're trying to tell you something interesting. Not yeah. that it's interesting. A sign in that alleyway. What's that? What did it say? Come back. It said CCTV in operation. So oh I thought I'd better God, get out of there. Well good. Now that's a nice looking fish and chips shop, if I do say so myself. And they do gluten free. That's amazing. Tell everyone your dream last night. You told me this morning. I can't. Why? Well, I'll tell them half of the dream. Yeah, the fish and chips shop bit. We're well, queuing up and there was like 15 kiosks to get fish and chips from yeah and there were like 30 people queuing in every one of them and I were at back of one of these waiting for ages for these fish and chips got to the front got me fish and chips got some crackers no not wrong with fish and chips <laughs> and a tiny little parcel from uh, Emma and Neil yeah urban explorer and that's all I remember but what a weird weird dream yeah so this app has been absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend it. Go to, I think it's airthroughtheages.com and download it before you come here. It's helped us out. Right, you're not going to believe where Mazzy is at the moment. She's gone into the fish and chip shop to get me a deep fried Mars bar. I've got to eat this. Apparently people in Scotland just do not eat deep fried Mars bars. I don't even eat Mars bars. Um, but just for the video she wants me to try one, so I'll give it a go. <laughs> no, I've never tried this before and I'm not gonna, but you have you ever had one babe? I've never had one no. It looks small for a Mars bar, doesn't yeah, it? They've turned it into a boat. They've start. turned it looking posh, don't they? <laughs> right, try it. Well it's gonna be gooey inside, honey. Let's have a look, see how gooey this is. Okay. Oh, it looks so sickly, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Strange, nice. It's edible. But it is just like a, it's like a Mars bar, what you've had on your dashboard <laughs> in July. <laughs> and bits of fluff stuck to it. <laughs> It'll do. Kill it in, yeah. Quirky, quirky alleyway. Actually, it's very strange, isn't it? Well, we've got Helen's Close. Yeah, I was just saying to Dad, and that was actually quite expensive. How much is Mars Bar? 80p? £3.80 that costs. <laughs> £3.80? Yeah, about £3.80. £3.80 and 80 pence for that? Yeah. Check it back. <laughs> Take it back. Three pounds eighty for a Mars bar. <laughs> I think it's three eighty uh, or three sixty, but I think it's three eighty. Just enjoy it. Take a close look at that. Three pound eighty for a Mars bar. <laughs> I don't swear, but oh, I'm close. <laughs> Right, so that's what Helen's Close is about. It's ridiculous, Mazzy. Yeah, it's We're getting ridiculous. stupid now. Yeah. <laughs> a plaque in the alleyway because there was a restaurant here, opened in 1975, run by a woman called Helen. 
So she's got her own plaque in her own little alleyway. That's not history. Is it's it? still here, look. Helen's. There's a sign going down there. Yeah. So we're in the Wallace Garden now. I think it's called the Wallace Tower Garden. I thought that was Robert the Bruce. Really? This is Wallace? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, it's neither. Uh, let's start that again. <laughs> We've both got it completely wrong, Mazzy. So here we are in Burns Statue Gardens. It's literally, it's just a roundabout in the middle of town. <laughs> River Bend, River Bend. It's a roundabout in the middle of town, but you've got a statue up here of Robbie Burns himself. Yeah. You've got Rabbi's Bar across the road there. And he's looking south towards Alloway, where he was born. What's he doing here then? I have absolutely no idea. Well, he did burn a load of English down in the barn just up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that one in where it No! Was. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to know a bit about Scottish history and stuff, come to air. Honestly, we've come away learning loads all about William Wallace we've and Robbie so Burns. Today. We have, haven't we? And Robert the Bruce. No, we didn't do Robert, Robert the, the Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> Is that another one? So there's Robert. No. Did we did Robert it's the Bruce. Robert Burns, Robbie Burns, Robert the Bruce, and Will. Oh, there's three of them. So it's not all the same person then. No, he's got longer legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> air. Honestly, I'd just like to say, though, whilst we're in a quiet bit in the middle of air, just over there is a place called Air Guitars, A-Y-R. Yeah, it's air a bit guitar. like your joke this morning, wasn't it, really? Wasp. <laughs> There's loads of wasps. Um, yeah, I'd just like to say, when I first started this video, I was a bit negative about air, saying I didn't think there was any history here. It is fantastic and Brilliant. full of history. Yeah. A really, really nice place to come. Yeah. Um, I think this is our we, favourite, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And we've hardly sort of touched it as such. But when we met that lady yesterday, one of our viewers, she did say, <laughs> she did say that there ain't a lot here. And we've done so much and we've hardly touched it. Yeah, but it depends what you're looking for. It depends for. what you're looking for. So if that's you download why... the app, as I say, you will find a lot of interesting Let's things Let's be honest in though, we didn't need the app. We, we were finding all this ourselves, just wandering around, yeah, wasn't we? Yeah, but Mazzy, we? we think there's three, that we thought they were all the same person. Well, so we, we did need the app, because we we've just, learned that there's just... actually three different men in Scotland <laughs> who were quite famous. <laughs> anyway, it's a really lovely, is it a city? Um, it feels like a city. I think it's, it's just big. a very large town. I don't is think it? it's a city. It's a very large town. Yeah, so I'm so glad we come here. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. Anyway, we haven't finished yet. We, yeah, might, I know. we might see something else. We're heading that way towards oh, the van. Oh, not up here? No, not up there. That's going opposite way to where we need to go. Come right, on. Right, go on then. Everyone's going to think we're really stupid, Mazzy. I know. We'll have to cut that bit out, won't we? I can't believe it. There is three men, though, isn't there? William, Wallace, Robert Bruce. Burns, Robert the Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. That's three of them. No, that's four. You just said four names. Did I? Yeah. Who's never, Bruce? Then, never mind. You're no good at this Scottish history, darling. So we've just been walking back towards the motorhome, down the side streets. Yeah. You know, the residential streets. Really nice houses, weren't oh, they? Oh, yeah, like, lovely properties. Very posh. Um, Ugh. They were so nice, a lot of them were turned into like, let's say, dentists and solicitors and stuff. You know yep. the kind of building, yep. I mean. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, and I've really enjoyed it here, have you, babe? Oh, I loved it, loved it. Yeah. And we've come towards the front now, and just check this out. Look how this the sea is over there. We've got this wall here and then it all starts over there, but all this vast piece of green right on the front of the huge town of Air. Unspoilt for you to bring your dogs and stuff. Yeah, it's lovely. And what perfect way to finish the day. Go to the gym and work that dirty Mars bar off. Come on, give me ten. There's people watching, Mazzy. Can <laughs> you okay, <okay>, Come on. <laughs> oh. oh, this is nice. Right, you're going to do one push-up for every single calorie. How many calories was in the Mars bar? 360. No, 360 two. calories. Two. Two. <laughs> oh. oh, I can do that all day. <laughs> I thought you were going to lift it, Sal. How many? <laughs> hey, that's easy. <laughs> oh. I'll have to be honest, I've been on better. <laughs> Some of the ones we've been on, Oh, bottom moves and everything. Yeah, things happen. These are really 
boring. What? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Is that it again? <laughs> I just got spotted by uh, one of our viewers. Yeah, someone who recognised me yeah, looking like a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like nipple. Right, just give this one a quick go and then we'll get going. What do I and do with And then you've done really well. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, that's oh. the one. <laughs> I don't like that one. Oh no, we're not doing that one. Can I go now? Yeah. Walk the mile. Follow the feet. Well, you've worked out we've done 10,000 steps. Lose the inches. Lose the inches. You yeah. 10,000 steps, which I think is about five miles we've done. Is today. it? It does oh, feel like it, doesn't it? Miles. Yeah. Brilliant day. I've actually, oh, it's one of my favourites. Best day ever today. Thanks, babe. So we shall leave you as we started. Yes. Back at the motorhome stopover. Wonderful stopover. If you are ever in the area, you must stop in air. Yeah. It is our favourite place so far. It's definitely. And a wonderful stopover as well. So get yourselves here. I hope you enjoyed our day as, as much as we've enjoyed it. They won't have enjoyed it as much as we did. They might have enjoyed it, but not as much as we did. <laughs> or do they want to come back tomorrow for another go then at something else? Yeah, we've got yeah. somewhere else in mind for tomorrow, so we'll see you then. Yeah. You have a see good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.